Aim assist needs to be removed entirely. This is nothing stopping a console player from plugging in a mouse and a keyboard. Wait, what? <laughs> They're choosing to be less capable by using controller in a whole, in the whole game shouldn't be butchered for their poor choice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, if you're playing console, I'm sorry, but the last thing you're going to do is... All right, so here is somewhat of a hot topic. Should aim assist in New World Eternum be banned in PvP? Man, that's a tough one. Uh, first, let me say that the aim assist, in my opinion, actually feels really good. You know, it's kind of similar to Dark Souls in a way, which, you know, this game's combat is kind of modeled after Dark Souls, which the developers have stated that, you know, multiple times. Now, this lock-on feature is new to New World Eternum, right? And it was not a thing before they released console. Now, me personally, I don't use it too much in PvE, uh, just because I like to group up mobs and then do just big damage to all of the mobs together. And so when you're in aim assist mode, you know, it obviously locks onto a single target. Now, you know, even though it is locked to a single target, you can still damage the surrounding mobs, but it just kind of feels, feels weird when you're trying to damage multiple mobs when you're in that single kind of target mode. Uh, let's talk about the range weapons first like the bow the musket you know if you're at like mid range to short range you know it could be it could be pretty good but you know if the enemy player and this is kind of strictly speaking with like pvp but if the enemy, enemy player is like moving side side to side or like dodging you know there's still a, a chance that it will miss right like it's not if you're in target mode it's not going to hit a hundred percent of the time right also with the lock-on feature, you miss out on that potential headshot uh, capability, right? Which can significantly increase your damage, you know, depending on the weapon passives that you use. So, you know, that could be a potential downside if you're only locking on. Uh, now with melee weapons, those on the other hand, those could be pretty OP for a single target because that camera is like literally glued to that target. And if that enemy goes like right behind you, your camera will literally snap to them. So it's like you're constantly uh, like facing them. However, again, uh, kind of that downside, right, is that if you, you know, are locked in, then the potential of getting back attack damage becomes much, much less, right? Now, personally, you know, if, if I'm doing PvP, I usually do not use the lock on feature uh, for the long range weapons, but as soon as someone approaches me, I'll take out my big old great sword, lock on them, and then start damaging them, right? So I don't know. I, you know, I think for me personally, I'm just kind of indifferent to it. And, you know, I would be okay if they just kept it for PvE only and then turned it off for PvP, or, you know, I'd be okay if they kept it out altogether, uh, or just leave it the way it is. But I'm kind of curious, you know, kind of what your thoughts are on this topic. Uh, do you like the aim assist feature or uh, do you only like it for PvE and not for PvP? Or uh, maybe you just don't really care either way, kind of like me. But let me know down in the comments, kind of your opinion. All right, so before I go over this post, I want to just kind of show you how this lock on system works. So if we come... And I'll use the melee weapon first. We come down here and we have a, a mob here. Now again, a mob's gonna be completely different than if like you play against an actual real life person. But we can kind of click on and you can you can really just like look at that. You just see how the camera just rotates to that target when it's when it's locked on. And if I lock on over here and I try to like like it's just automatically gonna go straight to that mob, right? Like it's it's pretty good. It's really good for melee. And then if you use if you use your your range weapon so you can see i mean that's a pretty far distance there and i mean it hits i mean it, it's it's pretty pretty spot on right like really spot on and then it just kind of rotated to this guy here but you can see like i'm not hitting any headshots it's all body shots right and, that, and that's fine uh it, it's it's kind of 
a trade-off, right? It's a trade-off. But if if this was an actual enemy player, right, and if they would dodge, it's it's most likely going to miss them. So it, it's a cool feature, and it's one of those things where I could definitely see, like, PvP-wise, why it could maybe be unfair. But also with, like, console players, it's kind of like a shooter, like an FPS, like Call of Duty, or you have aim assist because console players kind of need that aim assist because of the controller, right? It's not going to be as precise as like a mouse and keyboard. So, and you know, when I'm playing for me personally, when and I'm a PC guy, when I'm playing Call of Duty, I actually use a controller. I actually, I guess because I've always played Call of Duty on a controller. <laughs> anyway, that's just kind of a, a side note there, I'm kind of getting off topic, but let's go ahead and look at this post here. All right, so... This was three days ago. Lock on should not work for PvP. Weapons like the blunderbuss, bow, musket, hatchet, etc., become unavoidable thanks to lock on. So, I don't know. Again, we you know completely unavoidable. I mean, if you're going to dodge or kind of go left and right, you can definitely avoid if someone's going to shoot you, even if they're in lock on. It's not. It's not like a. It's not like an aim bot. Oh, I got disconnected. Uh oh, server issues. But yeah, so they need to remove the ability to lock on during PvP. Just as simple as that. This is, has to be a bug or something. If it's intentional, then that's a great oversight and should be fixed. Yeah, I mean that's that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Let's see what people are saying. Uh, just step to the left and right, and they're not doing headshots. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, again, you just go left or right or dodge. You're, they're not going to hit you. And, like this person said, they're also not going to be doing headshots either. So, uh, Blunderbuss doesn't benefit from crit like other weapons. Headshots don't matter much outside of old one-tap ground, one-tap group play. Even then, still back crit damage. Blunderbuss crit damage is 1.15 on the weapon's lowest of the weapon, so it's barely meaningful. Doesn't work as long as they are mid range with lock on. The projectives are too fast and big to actually dodge. They need to tie range attacks to stamina, just like how magic is tied to mana. I don't know with blunderbuss. I, I don't. Maybe maybe you can't really dodge all of the the bullets that are coming at you. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I know I know New World because a lot of people were kind of complaining about it. So I know they toned down like the PVP damage with that weapon. Uh, got a bunch of downvotes. Well, for three years, it was tied to ammunition, a resource no other class had to spend money on. I'm so glad that they got rid of the ammunition. Any mages currently use a mana, point being. I use mana pots for healthy toast. Mana also isn't a finite resource like ammo. It doesn't need to be crafted and replenished on its own, but it doesn't matter now. What's with all the new players? Uh, <laughs> uh this headline. Yeah. <laughs> I think this has been kind of a common theme in the Reddit too, with the whole PvP lock on aim assist type thing. Lock on is just tab targeting. LOL. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yeah, it's different. Sure, it's different. It's. Uh, I mean, there's. I don't know. I don't know what this person is defining as like tab targeting. Like when I think of tab target. Like sure, you lock onto that per on that enemy or person, or whatever it may be, mob. But it's not action combat, right? It, you just press one, two, three, or four to release a skill. Like there's no like light attacks or heavy attacks, or there's no block. But yeah, I mean, you do lock on to something, sure. A tab targeting doesn't work in a game like this. LOL. How so? This is an MMO, right? Every action MMO I've played has tab targeting as an option. Uh, I mean, I, Black Desert Online doesn't have any like any type of tab targeting. It's like free aim all the time. I'm trying to think. Does Elder Scrolls Online? I don't think Elder Scrolls Online has like a like a target system as well. I think it's you have to you have to like move your cursor to like line up with the enemy or whatever. Like, there's nothing that that will snap onto them. So yeah, I don't think ESO has like a lock on feature or. Black Desert Online doesn't have a lock-on feature either, so I don't know what action combats he's been playing. 
or they have been playing. Uh, the melee combat plays like a dumbed down version of Souls game. I don't see how you think it doesn't work in a game like New World when Lock On has been in a game like this for over a decade. <laughs> what is this person talking about? <laughs> down votes. Yeah. Uh, for many of us, the reason we played this game is because we were under the impression that it was not tab target. What this person is saying is that it doesn't fit with the identity of the game. Sure, so in this game you can dodge attacks, get iframes. Most other action are MMOs that use tap targeting don't have skill shots or headshot multipliers. That is true, like MM, like MMO, like Black Desert Online, ESO doesn't have anything like that. Uh, in Souls games, your attack costs stamina, unlike New World where your attacks don't and can be spammed, thus having lock on in New World only works well. For things like healing balance wise while things like the the vulnerable bow must get become unskilled and easy with too much damage due to just lock on being mid-range and none of your attacks will miss. i mean again your attacks it's not automatic right on the world position in queue <laughs> what is going on with the server what <laughs> uh okay anyway yeah there's still a, a Decent chance that your attack can miss if the person's skilled enough and can can utilize their dodge. Top recap, it works in souls due to attacks costing stamina, but doesn't work in New World due to the easy of spamming attacks and not having to balance spacing and attacking stamina wise. I don't even know what this person's trying to say. So lock on only aims at heads and guarantees headshots. I thought it was aim center mass, which would mean a player locking on would be at a major disadvantage against someone with a good aim using free aim. Bingo. Bingo. Most might aim for the top half of the player, but constantly aiming for the head in PvP isn't really viable. That's probably a good point too. It's probably more consistent to try to aim for like the body, you know, unless unless you're like super amazing at aiming, right, and shooting, but probably most of the time more consistent damage is probably going to be aiming at the center of the mass kind of like the lock on feature but if you're skilled enough and can hit those headshots it's it's pretty game changing uh neither should be in this game it's honestly impressive how wrong you are are you new to mmos <laughs> lol no 20 years of wow 10 years of gear wars 2 10 years of i'm guessing that's final fantasy 10, 10 years of ESO. Will you play 10 years of ESO? Then you should know how the, the combat works in ESO. Please inform me how I'm wrong. <laughs> it's not even the aim I hate about. It's the fact it controls your character for you and turns for you. So true. If a melee player was smart enough to maneuver around you, it will just snap 180 degrees and turn your character. Yes. Yeah, for melee, I think for melee, it's really strong. Its implementation is one of the worst decisions Amazon games have ever made and there has been a lot of bad decisions. Yeah, that's 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 the aspect with this top this lock on feature is for melee. It's pretty strong because it literally snaps anywhere that character, the enemy character might go. Hello, I'm not even on controller. My favorite thing when I play arena is watching people panic when I pull out the <laughs> Uh, this seems to be an unpopular opinion on this sub, but all the things to complain about in this game, this is the most overblown yet common one. It helps the blunder boss a ton specifically, but I really don't think it's as OP as everyone likes to say it is. Honestly, don't like to use lock on and I main melee weapons. If it's really so broken, then use it yourself. Don't make the thousand thread complain about it since the beta. <laughs> uh, I, re I recommend the opposite. Please continue posting criticism. We want the game to improve. The vast majority of the dedicated PvP community does not want target lock on in PvP. Target lock in PvP changes the game completely. I mean, it does. It sure does change the game, for sure. It's not a bug. It's the ultimate broken promise. You have to cater to consoles. As PC users were already scammed due to the beta testing. <laughs> and consoles need extra... Oh, no. Training wheels. <laughs> oh stop it stop it let's all be nice uh i say extra because melee already came in with the built-in aim by gap closer auto tracker that nobody ever mentions i don't even know what he's talking about or what this person's even talking about but uh i would love to know what this person's talking about <laughs> uh on top of that we have the gs scaling botch mechanics all according to the plan 
Uh, can't ruin most of all the PC. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> what is up? I, uh, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I think it definitely helps controllers versus mouse keyboard. Otherwise, the controller players wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, it's kind of going back to the whole FPS shooting aspect where, again, it's just one of those things where if it's not in the game, the the I guess it would be different if it wasn't crossplay. There was no crossplay, it wouldn't, I guess, really matter. So the consoles players could have their lock on and the PC players wouldn't have to worry about it. But yeah, I, can, I mean, I can definitely understand that. For sure. Aim assist needs to be removed. Entirely, this is nothing stopping a console player from plugging in a mouse and a keyboard. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're choosing to be less capable by using controller. In a in the whole game, shouldn't be butchered for their poor choice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, if you're playing console, I'm sorry, but the last thing you're going to do is plug in a mouse and keyboard for the majority of people like let's be honest like if i'm if if i'm going to have a mouse and keyboard i'm going to play on a key on a pc right console the thing about console is you just plug it into like your 75 inch tv and you just sit on your couch and you just chill right it's just a chill kind of experience right that's that's kind of the whole console aspect not all the time right but at the end of the day if you're gonna get a mouse and a keyboard just just get a pc right like a console player should not have to buy a mouse and a keyboard. <laughs> That's so crazy. Got downloaded big time. So hang on. Let me get this right. This game, for all intents and purposes, was dead. Amazon then reworked the game to bring in console players. And you think console players should go and pay for a keyboard and mouse to play the game? The game that people already own, those have, have left. <laughs> get a grip. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't think the game needed to be butchered. When even console plebs can afford a 20 mouse and keyboard. Christmas is coming up and those children should should ask for one. Oh my gosh. This person's on a whole nother level. <laughs> uh, okay. As a console player with years of PvP time on ESO and Final Fantasy 14, I endorse this message. Hey, look, there's another console player who uses a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> Uh, thank you. It's like playing a driving sim without a steering wheel or flight sim without a stick. You're choosing to use the wrong tool for the job. Sorry to hurt your feelings downloading console kit. Gosh. Uh, this person's on another level. Uh, it only works on Blunderbuss. Using it with bow musket means you won't hit anyone who moves. But yeah, see, that's the thing, right? So maybe maybe for Blunderbuss, it is pretty strong because there is multiple kind of bullets coming out. But with like a bow and musket, if someone literally just moves to the left or to the right or dodges, like, yeah, it's it's more than likely going to miss. Uh, and using it melee means you will miss three to five hits every time someone dodges through you, even on hatchet. Huh. I didn't know about that. I haven't really paid attention to that, to be honest with you. That's interesting. If that's true. Hmm. Yeah. OK, that's a little bit of a shorter post. Today. Yeah, okay. Well, a very, very hot topic. Very controversial topic. Yeah, I, I can definitely understand both aspects, right? And I'm kind of in, indifferent. I, you know, I could I could float either way. It doesn't really bother me. I, you know, I want whatever's best for the game at the end of the day and whatever's best for, like, the community. So, yeah, let me know, again, down in the comments kind of what you think about this. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having a good week and I will see you in the next one. Peace.